Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Truckee, California, where Amagansett Press is, well, wreaking havoc on the local business owners, and he ends up giving one of them the sauce. i tell you something, uh, this is uh, one of my least favorite frauditors out there because he'll actually try to justify his rationale of filming right outside of a jewelry store. Yeah, as if they're not worried enough as it is trying to protect their business from, well, actual jewel thieves to have to worry about the possibility of somebody casing their store. But I digress, so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and try not to smash your computer because this is going to be a rough one. <laughs> That's all fair. Yeah. What are you guys filming? We're making a little video right now. We're filming this store. Cool. Is it your place? Yeah. Yeah, why are you filming? I don't know. Why are you putting the back of your head in my nose? Why is your camera in my face? Yeah. You go first. I ask first. Come on, man. We're just out here filming and enjoying the day. That's cool. I just sold two pairs of socks for you, by the way. For those of you who don't know who this is, this is Jason Gutterman. Uh, uh, some people got on gutter trash or gutter mouth or whatever, but this guy has got a real persecution complex to begin with. He thinks everybody's out to get him. Well, I guess that's one of the uh, qualifications to become a frauditor that you've got to be heavily paranoid. And, uh, well, this guy certainly meets that qualification. So let's carry on, shall we? Hey. I just uh, wanted to bring your attention. There's a couple of guys with cameras pointing at our store, like kind of being weird. <laughs> not like, not letting me know like what their whole thing is, like why they're doing it. And I'm talking to one of the, the guys with the cameras pointing at me right now. And he's like got some kind of uh, Well, you're entertaining me. He's got some kind of uh, motivation. He's got some kind of motivation. And I don't know what it is. And it's weird. It's killing me. Take note, uh, clearly this guy is antagonized by the mere presence of the cameras in the area. And not everybody loves cameras, so that's where this jack wagon comes in. He wants to antagonize the situation to its breaking point, and that is not exactly something most normal people would do. But Amagansett Press isn't a normal person, he's just some jackass who wants to press your buttons until the pepper spray comes out. You're welcome to do whatever you're doing. Just don't block the doorway. Don't block my don't doorway. Don't touch my shit, man. Don't. Don't touch my shit, bro. Don't. You don't want to touch my shit. You don't want to step in front of my Don't doorway. touch my shit. You're in my house. Like, this is my house. Yeah. I don't care if I'm in... You're touch... What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, dumbass. Uh... Yeah, most of that went into the back of his head, and uh, a lot of it went into the store itself. You really gotta watch where you point that thing at. I mean, there can be some collateral damage to that spray. Trust me, I know this. I got a secondary dose of it many years ago when somebody on the bus sprayed it in my sister's face by accident and the entire bus ended up catching a piece of it. So, so that's the kind of thing you gotta really think about when you use that stuff because there will be other people that get affected by it, jackass. He's blocking my doorway and I told him to move. You just assaulted me. Look what you just did to my camera. Oh my God, Get this on film. <coughs> Am I serious? What the hell's wrong with you, bro? You just broke my camera for no reason. I'm out here selling you stupid socks, and that's what you do? Just got maced by this guy. That's right. Just you got sure maced did? by this guy. You sure I didn't did. break your camera. I moved it out of the way. No, you just broke my I camera. I told you bro. to not stand in front of my doorway because you're blocking my, my customers for being in my store, and you just maced me. That's right. You just assaulted me. You assaulted me. Okay, yeah, tell yourself another story. You're on two yeah. cameras, bro. Oh, help. My camera was touched. He touched my camera. He assaulted me. 
Well, no, he didn't assault you. He just touched your camera, and you got all butthurt about it, and you pulled out the sauce. You kind of overdid the force issue right there, dude. It wasn't really needed in this particular situation, because the guy was walking off. I mean, he wasn't a threat to you, jackass. Store, store's closed. It's a good thing it's all on video. Sorry, guys. <coughs> this guy's an asshole at this base meeting. I can't even get my uh... I happen not to be able to buy new socks. You can thank this guy for that. What's going on here? Yeah, you can thank yeah. me. Sorry guys. Why would you come out and put your hands on somebody? You think that was a good idea? Alright, source closed. Thanks guys. You really think that was a good idea, bro? Sorry about that. Sorry, yeah. I'll see you around. Yeah, I'm sure you will. You know, this was filmed from the perspective of watching The Watchmen, and this just really shows how ignorant his son is. I mean, come on now, boy. Haven't you ever been hit in the face with pepper spray? It's not exactly fun, nor is it uh, fun to get the second-hand variation of it from, well, your idiotic father spraying it into the store, you dumbass. Trust me on that. I'll see you around. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Incredible. So is there something controversial here that I need to know about? No, not at all. Probably. What are you guys filming here for? Why are you We're making a travel video about trucking. And the guy that owns the sock store just came out and grabbed my camera and twisted my whole gimbal. So you based on the customers? He asked you to leave. Yeah. Face all the customers. <coughs> Interesting. Interesting perception. <coughs> if I walk up and grab your phone, what are you going to do? Good. Oh, good. Another uh, sign of a frauditor. Lack of empathy, dude. Have you ever been subjected to pepper spray at all? Or ever been subjected to being around it when you're in an enclosed area like that store over there. If not, then you need to, well, find a place where there's nobody else at and just spray it nearby and see how much you get affected by it, you dumbass. Or better yet, join the military and try the gas chamber because you'll think differently after that. I'm sure you would. Not I'll kick you in the no. fucking small dick. Exactly. Like there you go. And Very good. Anymore. Have a good day. Tiny little realm. Is this like a chemical situation that we have to be worried about? Not at all. Yeah, how are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm on Donner Pass Road in front of a business called the Sock Parlor. And the, the owner of the store, I believe, he is, uh, just came out. I'm taking some pictures and video out on the sidewalk. He just came out and grabbed my camera, twisted it out of my hand, and I had to spray him with pepper spray. Hey, gutter trash, I thought you hated the cops, but here you are calling the cops. And you know what? The cop that responds ends up being, well, one of your fans. Huh, kind of makes me wonder something. Did you call the personal son of a cop? who was sympathetic to your cause, kind of makes you wonder now, doesn't it? A little longer than a few minutes later. Um, so, we'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, it's a simple battery. It's placing his hands on it. Okay. Um, um, you're gonna have to get, like, this checked out, maybe email me a receipt for any damage costs or stuff. If this goes to court, that'll go through the court process of of restitution through, if the DA charges restitution through, any damages you have. I can't sit here and work out, um, if you want to pay for his stuff, they don't want to pursue No, no, of course not. You can't no. do that. So what do you do? So just so I understand, you write a report, so you I write hand a report. it off to the DA, and then they decide what to do with it. Yeah. Okay, I got you. If that's cool with you, I mean, that's, that's what we do here. Well, I'd rather see him get dragged away in cuffs and bitten by a rabid dog on the ankle. Absolutely. If that's what <laughs> um, you can do, that's what you can absolutely. do. Absolutely. So, misdemeanor in so California, misdemeanor not committed in my presence. No, I get it. I get it. Is, is a citizen's arrest. And okay. that's basically what you're going to be doing is signing a complaint. Okay. Um, making a citizen's arrest. I'll cite him. It'll go to court. Well, now that completely sucks. Obviously, Jason... Gutter trash here was the one that caused the problems, but the store and owner is going to be the one that pays the price for it. But hey, and we live in reality here, and sometimes the evil bastards win, so they won that round, but they don't always win, thankfully. 
So I'll go give them a citation and court date, and um, if the DA decides to charge it, they will uh, they'll give you a holler. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, I appreciate you, Brian. Right, Thank man. you very much. Good to meet you. Have a nice All to right, meet man. you. Happy birthday, Ben. Thank you. Well, hopefully the uh, DA will actually take a look at the camera footage of this situation and see that the dumbass here was the one that created the situation and decide to, well, let the store owner off the hook. But time will tell in this scenario, so hopefully that's the case. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video without smashing your computer, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?